Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for J to store Joomla shopping cart. In this lesson, I want to show you how to add the wish list um, add-on. It's an app. So to do so, let's go back to the back in here and go to J to store. What's going to happen is that when we install this, if you do it right, you're going to notice you have you have a little text at the bottom of each product that says add to wish list. So let's go back here. You click on your apps. Now this is the app section. Anytime that you install a new app, you're going to notice that it shows on, on here. So to get a new one added, you go to extensions, manage, install, and then you browse from your computer to be able to get it. Or you can drag and drop it here as well. So the wishlist app was just successful install. Now let's go over back to J2 store and let's go back to the apps and you're going to enable it. So that's been enabled. So let's go to the front end. Now let's refresh it. Once you refresh it, you notice that you have the wishlist already added, add to wishlist, or you can change this from a button to an icon. Once the wishlist is up and going, you can also customize or make some changes here. Just click on the open. And from here, you have a lot of different things you can change. If you want to change the icon, you can change that from a heart um, into whatever else you want it to be. And just pretty much some of the basic stuff. If you also want to manage the wish list, you click on manage wish list. And it's going to show you all the current wish lists that you have and who it's from. So when a guest come in and they click on it to add something to their wish list, you can do that. If you can see what it shows on back here. Or when uh, a member logs in and add a wish list item there, it shows you the date, uh, the number of items, their browser, and also the IP address. So that's something that you might want to you know pay attention to. So now we're going to add a module for this on the right side. So anytime that someone add an item to their wish list, they're going to see the items here. So to do so, you go to extensions and you go to module. And then you have here the J2 store, you know, the wish list. If you don't see this here, you can just type it in, search for it. But I'm going to click on this and you want to make sure that the status is set to publish and you want to choose a position for this. So I'm going to choose the right side. And by the way, you can put this on any position on your your um, your website, you know, not just the right side. So you can do that as well. And you can also choose the link type. Do you want it to be a button or do you just want it to be a link? So let's click on uh, first go over to the menu and then you want to make sure this showing up on all pages and you want to click on save. So when you refresh it now, you notice that on this right section here, it says wish list on uh, J2 store. You can change that title as well. And it shows how many items there are on the wish list. So when you click on it, it's going to show you the items that are, you know, on this particular wish list. So now you have this little heart here next to each item. So someone can check to see what items on their wish list. And it's very simple to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. So anytime I release a video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.